The world of fitness literature has its fair share of enigmatic authors, but few are as mysterious as Paul Wade, the author of the highly acclaimed book Convict Conditioning. While his work has been celebrated for its unique approach to bodyweight training, the identity of Paul Wade remains shrouded in secrecy, leaving many readers curious about the person behind this influential fitness guide. In this video, we'll delve into the theories surrounding the true identity of Paul Wade, explore their origins, and attempt to uncover the most likely scenario. Theories surrounding Paul Wade's identity, the pseudonymous author, the most widely accepted theory is that Paul Wade is a pseudonymous author concealing their true identity to maintain an air of mystery and intrigue. This practice is not uncommon in the world of literature, with authors like George Orwell and Mark Twain adopting pen names for various reasons, including privacy and personal beliefs. The Ex-Convict Given the book's title and Wade's purported experiences within the prison system, some readers speculate that he might be an ex-convict who found solace and redemption through bodyweight training while incarcerated. This theory suggests that he chose to remain anonymous to protect his privacy and reputation, a renowned fitness expert. Another theory posits that Paul Wade is a well-known fitness expert using a pseudonym to offer a fresh perspective. This would allow them to present their unconventional ideas without the burden of adhering to their established persona's principles. A collective effort. Some suggest that Paul Wade is not an individual, but rather a collaborative effort by a group of fitness enthusiasts, each contributing their expertise to create a comprehensive guide on bodyweight training. This theory could explain the book's diverse range of ideas and strategies. Origins of the theories, the secrecy surrounding Paul Wade's identity has fueled speculation across various fitness communities, forums, and social media platforms. Theories have been born from reader discussions, internet sleuthing, and the desire to uncover the true source of the knowledge contained within convict conditioning. The most likely scenario, while it's tempting to engage in speculation, it's important to recognize that the mystery surrounding Paul Wade's identity is likely intentional. By choosing to remain anonymous, the author maintains the focus on the content and the methods described in the book, rather than their personal background. In the end, the true identity of Paul Wade remains a well-guarded secret, allowing readers to appreciate convict conditioning for the valuable information it contains. Whether Wade is an ex-convict, an industry expert, or a collective effort, his work has undoubtedly made a significant impact on the fitness world, providing a fresh perspective on bodyweight training and inspiring countless individuals to embrace this form of exercise. The mystery surrounding the identity of Paul Wade, the author of Convict Conditioning, adds an intriguing layer to the world of fitness literature. While we may never definitively unmask this enigmatic figure, it's the knowledge and inspiration found in the pages of his book that continue to captivate and guide fitness enthusiasts around the globe. Regardless of his true identity, Paul Wade's work will leave a lasting legacy in the realm of bodyweight training.